Hello guys, Lincoln here, making a little different video. It's going to be a lot of numbers. I'm going to crunch numbers and statistics. And if you're not interested in this, I actually recommend you to leave this video and hopefully see you in the next one. Um, but for those players who want to know exactly how many hero fragments and lunar emblems are needed to max those abilities up, and in the same way, knowing exactly how much resources you need and um, tokens to upgrade your hero, stay with me. Um, can start with upgrading a hero from level 1 to level 60. You will be needing the following. You will be needing uh, from level 1 to level 20, you will be needing those level 1 uh, blood crystals. And the level 1s, you will be needing 92 of those, and then you will be needing 74 assassin tokens to get them that hero to level 20. And from there on, you will be needing level 2 blood crystals, and you will be needing 555 of those, and you need 217 more assassin tokens to get your heroes to level 40. And from there on, you will be needing level 3 blood crystals, 491 of those, and 1848 more assassin tokens to get you here to level 60, giving you a total of 2139 assassin tokens to get from level 1 to level 60. And that will basically cost you 2.7 million moon dust if you have, in my case, I'm using Daeva. And then I get uh, a production cost of 40%. And uh, to buy those level 1 blood crystals that you needed 92 of will be a total of 11,040 moon dust. And for the next version, you needed 555 of those, it will cost you 599,400 moon dust. And the next version you will be needing 491 of those and that will cost you a total of 2,121,120 giving you a total of 2.73 million moon dust. Um, from level 60 to 80 I actually don't have those numbers yet. I will have to mention that in another video. But I can mention as well uh, when it comes to the hero's abilities. Uh, the amount of lunar emblems that you need will basically be the same. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's an uncommon, rare, epic or legendary hero. You will always be needing a total of 3100 lunar emblems to go from a level 1 to a level 6 ability. So basically you will be needing, from the first level you'll be needing 100 lunar emblems, then you will be needing 200 lunar emblems and that will actually double each time. So it will be 400 lunar emblems, 800 and the last one will be 1,600 Lunar Emblems, and that is a total of 3,100 Lunar Emblems. For the Uncommon Hero, the amount of Hero Fragments that is needed is... You can actually just divide the amount of Lunar Emblems needed by 10. So if you have a cost of 1,600 Lunar Emblems, it will be 160 Fragments. So the amount of Fragments needed for Grim is for the first level, uh, to the second will be uh, 10 hero fragments and then 20, 40, 80 and 160 giving a total of 310 hero fragments to upgrade one ability from level 1 to level 6. And then for the rare, epic and legendary heroes, as I mentioned, the lunar emblems will be the same, always 3100 lunar emblems to max an ability up. But the amount of hero fragments needed will basically be divided by half compared to the uncommon one and so on. So in Vos case, you will be needing uh, from level 1 to level 2, 5, then 10, 20, 40 and 80 hero fragments, giving you a total of 155 uh, hero fragments to max an ability up from level 1 to level 6. And for the epic one, it will be uh, 3, 5, 10, 20, and 40 
hero fragments needed, giving you a total of 78 more epic uh, hero fragments. In this case, I need 78 more uh, Sadaharu fragments if I need to go from level 1 to level 6. And the legendary ones will be uh, 1, 3, 5, 10, and 20, giving a total of 39 more legendary fragments to get an ability up from level 1 to max. So um, there you have it when it comes to that. I can also mention once you reach above 100 and you start want to start leveling your heroes above that, like for example Daeva, you can see uh, going to upgrade her, her from level 1 to 101, besides those hero tokens and those blood crystals, I will be needing as well hero fragments and I need when it comes to epic ones I will be needing two for each level so 101 will cost me two fragments and then the 102 two more so going from 100 to 110 will actually cost me 20 more of those Daeva von Merimoth fragments and once you reach 110 you will actually start costing four hero fragments for each new level so going from 110 to 120 will actually cost you 40 more of those epic fragments and once you passed 120 like this you will be needing six more hero fragments for each new level meaning to get to 130 you will be needing 60 more of those Sadaharo fragments in this case and uh, for the uncommon ones, uh, from 100 to 110 it will be 8 hero fragments and from 110 to 120 it will be 16 more of those hero fragments. Uh, so you get an idea of exactly how many fragments you need, it's quite a lot. So even if you feel like you have no use of the dungeons, you probably actually can farm more since you need so many of those fragments to max out all those abilities on your heroes. A lot of numbers, sorry for that, but that's what this video was about. And see you next time, guys.